Hi everyone, this is my Canon 550D camera and I got this used. The only problem was that the plastic cover on the LCD was broken. My LCD works fine, it's just a plastic uh, protection screen on the back which I can get replaced and probably I can get it off eBay for 10 bucks. The other problem was that my uh, lens EFS 1855 wouldn't autofocus and it would just give me a grinding noise all the time if my mental focus is fine my zoom is fine it's just the autofocus which doesn't work maybe I could just show it to you what I mean by that it's set on awful auto and if I do an autofocus if you get here I get a grinding kind of a noise So that's basically my problem, that it doesn't autofocus. Seems like there is a strip gear or something. When I've been hunting on the internet to get a problem solved, and uh, people have been telling me to pull the outer ring of the autofocus, and I would hear a pop or a click, and then the autofocus should work. And 80% of the people got this problem solved out the internet. But I was unlucky. I tried the, the pulling stuff and everything else, but the autofocus wouldn't work. And and then I thought it's not the pulling or it's not a strip, it's, it, it's not stuck somewhere, it's just something else. So what I did was I disassembled the lens, the complete lens, and I found out that I had two of my gears stripped down completely. My gear number three was completely gone. I had only like maybe three or four tooth remaining, otherwise everything else was gone. My gear number four we had a missing main tooth so altogether my gear number three was totally gone and my gear number four had a missing tooth so I went ahead and I bought new gears for the gear number three and the gear number four and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sh I couldn't show you the disassembly to get the gears out but I'm going to show you how you can uh, again disassemble the complete lens and put in those new gears uh, and get your your fo autofocus working uh, it was a it's a complete cheap fix the gears would cost you something around ten dollars of uh, aliexpress or on ebay make sure that you do not get the green and white gears of uh, aliexpress or ebay those are cheapos and those are completely like you know you will get a lot of play in between them so try to get the black ones and i got lucky i went to a local store and instead of getting gears the guy gave me a complete assembly and it was really cheap I think it was only for like uh, six to seven dollars and the good thing was that was off from an original lens so that I got authentic complete assembly I'll show you how to get that in so stay tuned alright guys this is the disassembly and reassembly and fixing of the autofocus on an EFS 1855 lens this is mine and the only problem with this is the autofocus does not work on this I came to know, I opened the, uh, the lens and found out that the uh, of gear number 3 and 4 were stripped out completely so what I did was I had uh, headed over to a um, so camera fixing shop and fortunately I got this complete assembly uh, which has all the, uh, the, the gears which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and get him a fifth so I got lucky and got this complete assembly this is from an original EF 1855 so I did not have to buy those Chinese gears of course original would be really expensive I got this for about I think uh, uh, seven dollars it's used but at least it's new I mean sorry not new it's uh, from an original phone uh, camera so one thing to keep in mind is use proper tools do not use any screwdriver which is smaller or bigger than the actual screws screws are if you strip any screws on the on the lens you will have really hard time to find replacement screws and you'll just spend your time and money so f get a proper tool I'm using this uh, not to open the lens actually but to remove the flex cables I'll show you how why I'm using this this is this has nothing to do with the screw size 
tweezers if you can find a tweezer with the rubber end it is going to be a lot easier and better the, I'm not going to use this it's just here to move the, the cable around but not to dis do disconnect them for disconnecting the flex cable I'm going to use uh, this is a screwdriver which I use to open iPhones so this is just because the tip is really really tiny I'll show you why I use this okay so to open the lens you have two small screws here I'm having problem with the focus this is one this is the other screw and then you have four screws which is one two three four screws here you'll have to unscrew this and this first and then the four screws to get inside the lens so let's go okay so I got the screws off uh, a box like this comes in handy so you can keep all your screws inside so they don't jump around and you miss the screws so once the screws are off you can just lift the 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 cover gently because there's a flex cable inside you don't want to to break that cable if you see that's the cable which is inside and to get that cable out it's really it's really easy so you ju you just pull on this wide let me get a focus on this wide socket you just pull on it and the flex cable will be out okay once the cover is up this is the actual connector which is which goes here and connects to your camera so this PCB here is connected by this three rubber seals or pegs and this one two three and four five flex cables need to come out for you to get the PCB out and get into the gear section so how you take these PCBs out uh, sorry the these flex cables out is take a very tiny screwdriver or a pin or something I may have a problem with the focus here and you enter the tip inside the hole which you would see here you've got holes in the flex cables and you insert and you pull insert wait and you pull insert so you in insert and you pull and this would you know remove the flex cables so I'll just move them and show you okay, as you can see the flex cables are out one thing you do need to keep in mind that the complete assembly is covered with this two rings which you need to take care and you have to remember the how these rings were hooked up so you take this and place it, or place it back here now to remove the PCB you just lift it as they're connected as it's connected via pegs it will just simply come out this is the complete PCB now the gears are located at the back of this plate here so actually if you see this is the complete assembly so what I'm gonna do is remove the old one and place the new one inside but just to show you if you plan to remove to play remove and replace only the gears you would take out this screw and a screw which is here and this complete silver plate will come out and will expose the gears inside you can just simply see the gears which are stripped out and change only those gears and place this this plate back on again or if you can find a complete assembly like I was able to then you just simply remove this screw and this screw so this this is the one and this is the one 
and this complete assembly will come out and you place the new one in so as you can see this is my old one which I just removed and this is my new one which I'm going to replace it's completely similar for an 1855 lens so this would go in here this little stick will shoot up connect with that stick as you can see I've replaced the complete housing these are the two only screws which needs to be hooked up and now this PCB goes in again and this these rings go on top of the PCB sorry about the lighting my flash just went out because of low battery so the PCB is now hooked up with it, sh it should sit on these three pegs one two three and these flex cables should connect same thing you just insert the screwdriver into the hole push it in push it in same way as you can see the flex cables are all hooked up this goes without saying that be careful careful when you're hooking up the piece the the flex cables they are very delicate insert push gently to, in, to insert all the cables in their places now the ring goes in you have to make sure that you remember the way the, the rings came out it's supposed to be this way insert them properly as you can see stuck I've connected the flex cable properly and our lens is ready to be connected again I'm gonna connect these screws and show you again here we have our completed lens and let's connect and see if it works well as you can see that now my, fo my focus is on auto focus sorry about the shake and if I use the auto focus now my lens st starts working well that's all is to it you could either try the pull method which everybody else recommends on the internet and if that doesn't work most probably your gears are broken your the gear the teeth on the gears are no more so you just open it up check the gears replace the gear or if you get lucky get a complete housing and get everything done let me just show you the gears that I had which were stripped so these are the two gears that were stripped on my camera see all stripped out that's about it hope this tutorial can be of helpful to people well just in case if people who decide to change only the gears and cannot get a hold of the complete housing like I did like I did I'll show you how to change the gears and get to it so you basically open this and this is screw and it will this will enable you to get this metal plate out and expose the gears I'll just show you how when I got the screws out but don't just pull the metal metal plate out because there are gears underneath it and there's a small spring which could fly off and it's very difficult to find those kind of springs so simply gently pull the, the, the metal plate off we, this is from the back you will have to move this flex a little back so that you could get the plate off otherwise it'll, it, it's really pain to get it and get it out 
as you can see these are the gears once the plate is off starting from the extreme left it's one two three four five six gears seven gears in total including the silver on the extreme right eight my gear number three and gear number four were out so I just did a replacement of that and that's basically it you replace the gears that are not working or stripped out